Hello dear students, welcome to our CLE degree college Chikodi, myself Supriya Shagunshi from department of chemistry. In this video session, I will be going to discuss about your third sem chemistry syllabus. According to your chemistry subject, you are having a three section that is uh, inorganic, organic and physical section. So now inorganic chemistry, it is containing first chapter is the metallurgy. Learning points are the review of steps involved in the metallurgical process, thermodynamic concept of selection of producing agents using Ellingham diagram. Here very most important concept is that is the Ellingham diagram is there and relative efficiency of carbon, carbon monoxide as a reducing agent. And next one is the reducing agent for chromic oxide and zinc oxide. And next one is the extraction of nickel by Mohn's process. Next one is the extraction of lead by carbon reduction process. Next one is the extraction of aluminium from bauxite. Next one is the powder metallurgy. It is the next is some of very most important point is there. Powder metallurgy, it is involving production of tungsten powder from the wolframite. Dear student, even chapter nali nivain kalite raantandre, Review of steps involved in the metallurgical that is ores means what, minerals means what, extraction process means what, some ok. And then here thermodynamic concept of selection by using the Ellingham diagram. Next one is the relative efficiency of carbon and carbon monoxide. It is acts as a reducing agent. And next one in Bharatantandra reducing agent for chromic oxide as well as zinc oxide. And next one is extraction process are there. Here extraction of nickel by Mohn's process, extraction of lead by reduction process, next one is extraction of aluminium from bauxite process and then next one sub topic is there that is the powder metallurgy. In powder metallurgy it is uh, involving what is meant by powder metallurgy and production of tungsten powder from the ulpramide. And second one chapter is the solvent. In this chapter, you will be learn about the types of solvents, properties of good solvents, non-aqueous solvents. Solvents types anna kalitira, properties of solvents anna tira, non-aqueous solvents anna kalitira. Next one is liquid ammonia and liquid HO. If the properties like solvation, acid base, redox, complex formation and precipitation. And next one is water is acts as an universal solvent and then what is meant by leveling effect. These all points are involved in this chapter. Next chapter is the acids and bases. Here you will learn about the different types of acid base concept like a Arrhenius concept, Bronsted Lowry's concept, Lux Fluor concept, solvent system and Lewis concept of acids and bases. And again next one very most important that is the HSAB constant or HSAB concept. Here hard and soft acids it is commonly known as a HSAB concept and classification of acids and bases as a hard acids, hard bases, soft acids, soft bases. It is commonly again known as HSAB concept. And next one is from the organic section you are having first chapter is the orientation. Here learning points are the review of inductive, electromeric as well as resonance effect and hyperconjugation effect, what are the activating and deactivating groups, orientation of substituent in aromatic compounds with a different functional group for example OH group, NH2 group, Cl group, nitro group, CH3 and COOH in halogenation and nitration reactions. So second chapter is the alcohols. Here introduction about the alcohols, what is alcohols and then uh, here what is the functional group and then what about the types of alcohols. And next one is nomenclature of dihydric and trihydric alcohols. Next one is preparation of glycol from ethene, oxidative cleavage of ethylene glycol with lead tetraacetate and per iodic acid. Next one is very most important point is there in this chapter that is the pinacol pinacolin re rearrangement. It is very important for 5 marks question for your examination purpose. And next one is the 
preparation of glycerol from propane synthesis and uses of nitroglycerin composition and uses of dynamite and cordite distinction between primary secondary and tertiary alcohols by lucasri agent and next one chapter is the phenols in this chapter learning points are the classification and nomenclature of phenols acidic character of phenols as compared to alcohols and cyclohexanol and mechanism of fry's rearrangement next one is a cleisen rearrangement next one is elbers per sulfate oxidation next one is a lederer manasse reaction next one is synthesis and uses of anhexyl resorcinol and next one is picric acid and structure and uses of detol this chapter it is very important for your examination purpose because this chapter it is containing only rearrangement that is the reaction mechanism reaction mechanism reaction mechanism it is very important for your examination purpose and next one chapter is the organometallic compounds here the learning points are the synthesis of methyl magnesium iodide it is very most important because on this concept only you have to learn further concept that is and it's a synthetic applications in the preparation of alcohols such as a primary alcohol secondary alcohol and tertiary alcohol next points are the aldehydes ketones ester carboxylic acids amines and alkenes and again it containing one sub topic that is the organolithium compound here organometallic compound organic compound plus metal here organic compounds plus lithium so it is the organolithium compounds here it is the preparation of lithium dialkyl cuprate and synthesis of higher alkene from it and next one is from the physical section first one is the colligative properties colligative property means the property it is depend on the number of solid particles not on the nature of solid particles on that basis here the learning points are the first one is the raoult's law and then uh, next concept of lowering of vapor pressure next point is the elevation of boiling point next point is the depression of freezing point and then next one is the derivation of uh, kb and kf kb means elevation constant and then kf means freezing constant dependent on the thermodynamic treatment next point is the experimental determination of molecular weight by land burgers method beckmans method berkeley and hertley method and numerical problems on this concept these four concept are the very most important and next one is the infrared spectroscopy it is involving the points like this one principle of infrared spectroscopy types of vibrations that is the different types of vibrations stretching bending likewise and then identification of following organic compounds by stretching frequencies like alkenes alkenes alkynes benzene aldehydes ketones alcohols thiols acids esters amines problems based on molecular formula and stretching frequency and next one is the second law of thermodynamics it is very most important chapter for your examination purpose because it is having very highest marks among compared to all the remaining chapters here first one is the what is the statement of second law of thermodynamics cyclic process carnot cycle you have to study about the carnot cycle next one is heat engine and its efficiency next one carnot's theorem entropy and its significance entropy changes in reversible and irreversible process for ideal gas next one free energy means what dependence of free energy on pressure and temperature next one very most important point in this chapter that is the gibbs hamel's equation it is very very most important point and next one is clausius clapeyron equation it is also so important like a gibbs hamel's equation here um, another one important point is clausius clapeyron equation and its application and problems on all this concept and partial molar quantities chemical potential of on ideal gas it is very most important like a gibbs hamel's equation chemical potential my dear student now it these all all belongs to your syllabus
points okay so now here our today's session is over and in our next video session i will come with a new chapter just will be wait for that one thank